manor bear. I, of course, would choose the bear every time. And I was a former police officer, so... Unless I have my gun on me, I would choose the bear every time. And even then, I would probably still choose the bear if I had my gun. Uh, the reason I would choose the bear is because I have survived abuse more than once. And more than one form of abuse. My second husband, I met him while I was already disabled. Our relationship was thankfully very brief. We were only together for about a total of two and a half years, I believe. But I had already been through abuse before, and because I was disabled, I couldn't take care of myself very well, and I didn't have income, so he was able to beat me down enough to where I didn't think I had any options but to stay with him. Um, so I stayed. And I did my very best to protect my kids from his abuse. He was a mean drunk, which he got drunk quite often. Uh, what finally brought everything to a head was it was a fe it was a one night in February of two thousand. He was drunk and. He had to go to the bathroom. So, he goes to go to the bathroom, but instead of going into the bathroom, he ends up going into our bedroom closet. And he starts to urinate in there. And I... Go after him, and I'm like, you know, honey, you're not in the bathroom, you're in the bedroom, you're peeing in the closet. And that infuriated him to the point where he threw me down on the ground. And started choking me. I was a former police officer for eight years. But I had already had my back surgery. I was not in great shape and I couldn't do anything to protect myself. <laughs> and I, he thankfully let go and 
I didn't do anything at that point, but the following morning, I ended up having him arrested for domestic violence, and that was the end of the marriage, and it affected his career because he was also in the Navy. So, I'm not sure what all of the consequences he faced on that. I know he did have to take anger management courses through the military. Um, but I'm not sure what else was done through the military on all that. I don't really care. Um, I saw him one time. Actually, I think I saw him twice after we separated, and that was to get our divorce proceedings done, and I've not spoken or seen him since the divorce was final, and I have no desire to ever see or hear from him. But because of that man, I cannot wear anything around my neck. I cannot wear any kind of turtlenecks. I cannot wear necklaces that are tight. I cannot have anybody touch my neck because it triggers me. So yeah, I will happily go into the woods with a bear. Because the bear is not going to get drunk. And throw me on the ground to choke me for telling him he's peeing in our closet and not the bathroom. <laughs>